Welcome, family. Welcome. Come in. Please share this if you can. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. But please share this. There's three things I want to talk to you tonight, uh, family, uh, about the Hebrew Jews who were brought to America during slavery. I want to talk to you about their language, about their religion, and also how Deuteronomy chapter 28 ties in with Revelation. Okay, so first off, let me share with you in chapter 14 of the line of Shem and the seed of Judah, the language of the Hebrew Jews when they were brought over to America. All right, so this is going to be from chapter 14 here. Now notice here, family, it says that there was an eventual shift from predominant Hebrew speaking to Arabic speaking among Jews as a result of the Muslim conquest. Three forms of language the Jews spoke in early times besides Hebrew were Judeo-Spanish, Judeo-Arabic, and Andalusi Arabic. So see, there was a change in the language. So when the black Hebrew Jews were brought over to America, as it says here, Judeo-Arabic dialects were spoken by Jewish communities in the Arab world, and they came about due to Hebrew words and migration. So there, many of the black Hebrew Jews who came to America were speaking Judeo-Arabic, because, again, many of the black Jews in Israel, in the Palestine area, and in Africa, they were shifting from Hebrew to Arabic. Okay, so that's point one. And so, oftentimes that's overlooked because we're looking for evidence in America of black Hebrews and we're looking for them speaking Hebrew, but they had already shifted from speaking Hebrew to speaking Judeo-Arabic. Okay. And here's another point I want to share with you, family. Now, we know in Revelation chapter 18, verse 2, it's talking about Babylon the Great has fallen, which is referring to the false religious system, all the false religious systems of the earth, uh, the uh, Arabian, the Eastern religions, Christendom, uh, Judeo, Hindu, Buddhist, all of them. But notice what it says here, family. Notice in verse 11, it says, the traveling merchants of the earth are weeping and mourning over her because there is no one to buy their full stock anymore. Let's go over to verse 13. Verse 13, it says, also cinnamon and Indian spice and incense and perfumed oil, frankincense and slaves and human souls. And now this is verse 17. And every ship captain and every man in that voyage anywhere and sailors and all those who made a living by the sea stood at a distance. So you see the connection between Deuteronomy 28 and Revelation, family? Let me share this last thought, last thought with you. Notice what it says here. 